huh? <laughs> <laughs> The best handshake I've ever seen. Cause we're the best best friends you've ever seen. And only the best of best friends do a best friendly best friend handshake like that. Isn't it the best best friend? Yeah, the bestest. <laughs> Don't tell me. Enough with the fun. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever seen two people get along as well as you two. That's not surprising, Todd. The simple fact is, I'm incredible and amazing. My own awe-inspiring greatness inspires awe and even me. Dana's lucky to have found me. I am? Well, Myron, you're lovably shameless and fun, but I actually think you're lucky you found me. What? You? But I'm the one who's sometimes class president. And who runs your campaigns and covers for all your clumsy mistakes? I thought you loved covering for my so-called mistakes. That's what makes our friendship work. Maybe for you, but for once, I'd like you to cover for my mistakes. Oh, yeah? Well, I would if you ever made any mistakes, Miss Perfectly Perfect Person. <laughs> uh. And what's wrong with being perfectly perfect? It's so perfectly boring and predictable. <gasps> Predictable. As for you, Myron, you're rude and ungrateful, and I can't understand why I would ever consider an elf like you to be my best friend. Hey, I'm no elf. I said oof. Elf, oof, whatever. I'm not your best friend anymore. <gasps> Fine. Well, then I'm not your best friend anymore. <gasps> yeah? I'm finding a new, better, best friend to be my new, better, bester, best friend. I better get myself a new, best friend. See what you've done? What? All I did was compliment your great friendship. I didn't know that'd make you guys stop being friends. Ah, uh, he'll be back. He'll never find anyone to be his best friend. <laughs> oh, Cherie! <laughs> That's the Funniest thing I've ever heard. I'm so glad you're my new better best friend. Is he kidding? <laughs> Cherie's always asleep. <laughs> Good one, Cherie. You're so funny. Myron, this is such a desperate attempt to make me feel jealous. But it's not working. You can't be best friends with someone who is always asleep. Cherie doesn't think that's a problem. Right, Cherie? Uh... Yeah, I know. Dana's just being mean. At least you're not mean to me, Cherie. That's because she's asleep. Shh, Dana. Cherie's sleeping. I know. Now, if you'll excuse us, my new best friend Cherie thinks you should mind your own business. What? How do you know what Cherie thinks? Do you believe this, Todd? Well, if you ask me. You don't know what Cherie's thinking. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Face it, Myron. Do you think you'll ever be able to win an argument with me? No. I mean, yes. I mean, oh. <laughs> OK, I'll prove it to you with this. Mrs. Jules's pencils? <sighs> Only a real friend would know. Not the pencils, the glass. Have you ever put an empty glass up against the wall? Listen, you can hear everything happening on the other side. Ooh, let me try it. Hey, Lewis. Check out the new Wizomatic 3000. Guaranteed to de-stress for your money back. And still for only $19.99. Uh, Mr. Kitswater, have you read the instructions? No, I did not. Look at me, Lewis. I'm distressing. Ow! You're right. You can hear everything. The same thing works with Cherie's head. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a great idea, Cherie. What? What'd she say? Sorry. I can't tell you. 
It's a secret between you best friends. Nice try, Myron. But two can play that game. With Mrs. Jewel's pencils? Todd will be my better new best friend. Dana, I'm awake. You don't really need the brain listening glass for me. What's that, Cherie? Yeah, I knew Miss Perfectly Perfect Person would try something like that, too. Come on, let's do some really fun stuff, better best friend. Ah, it's okay, Dana. I can walk. Finally, I can achieve inner peace out here in the schoolyard with my new Wizomatic. Now, how does this thing work? Hair piece, mantle piece, inner piece. It's refreshing. What do you want to do now, Cherie? Ooh, what's that? You want to do our special best friend handshake? What? Well, let me teach it to you. First, you do this, then this, then some of this, a bit of this, and then shake. Shake. You can't just interchange best friend things like that. There are rules about these things. It's not right. Yeah, Cherie, I know. Dana's making up some dumb rule again. You, you, you've gone too far, Myron! Enough of the brainless and <laughs> ah! Now how will you talk to your so-called better, bester friend, Cherie? No! No! <laughs> Now then, I've made a few modifications, so my new Wizomatic 3000 will distress me even faster. And still for only $19.99. Uh-oh. <laughs> Myron, you could just get another glass, you know. Stay out of this, Todd. Okay. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Nothing will ever be the same again between Cherie and I. It's okay. There's no use crying over a broken brain listening glass. No, oh, what do you care? <laughs> well, for starters, I really hate to see you cry, Myron. Even if it is your fake crying. You can tell? Of course. Best friends always can. I mean, that is, if you still want to be my best friend. Again. You know, I have to admit, Cherie never really understood me the way you do, Dana. I mean, she's fine, but I always wish she could be as perfect as you. Aww, I feel the same way. I mean, Todd is okay. Thank you. But he's not nearly as clumsy and lovable as you are, Myron. Dana, you're the best. Let's never be mad at each other again. Deal. So you want to shake on it? <laughs> hey, best friend! Hey, best friend!
listen to you. <laughs> Shh! She's waking up. Hmm. I wonder if this actually works. Lewis? Anyone? Help me! Uh, little girl! Wake up! I I'm distressed! I'm distressed! <laughs> <laughs>